Hi, and welcome to the 2020 Economic Recession and Preparation Channel. I'm your host, Tony. Thank you for joining me once again. Today, we have more and more job trouble as uh, the wave of rehiring, the V-shaped recovery, has hit a big setback in the month of July. Uh, according to MarketWatch.com, the supposedly rehiring of folks that were furloughed and are laid off because of the sickness epidemic is not happening. The U.S. economy appears to have suffered a big setback in July, and this is bad news for most Americans that were hoping to return to their old jobs. And the fact of the matter is, is that my community and those of you that have been listening and, and following know that the jobs, our old jobs, are not coming back. They were sold off to China and to Philippines, Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, other countries cheap labor, cheap products, and we're left holding the bag as Americans with no jobs coming back. So there will be no new normal. Our new normal will be a suffering recession, a deep, long depression. The damage has been done, um, and it's evident when the new employment jobs report comes out next Friday for the month of July. As you know, we just lost 1.4 million jobs this past Thursday. And that's in both the private sector and the public sector, um, job losses. So GDP has already sank a whopping 32.9% in the second quarter. This is the biggest decline since World War II. 32.9% in the whole. This is the biggest decline since World War II. So the question hovering over most people's minds is, as we enter this third quarter now of this year, 2020, is how can we recover how can the economy recover when there's no job creation and the jobs that are people who do have jobs and who are trying to either uh, get promoted or transfer there's a hiring freeze at a lot of these organizations and so it's going to be hard for the economy to make up for lost ground in the third quarter the media has been touting a v-shaped recovery and I heard one friend say that it's, yeah, they've been touting a Venezuela-shaped recovery. That's what it is. <laughs> because you have, and that's kind of probably true, because we have a situation now where we have rising unemployment, a shortage of supplies, particularly food supplies, seed supplies. Uh, there's even backlog on furniture. I was looking the other day at furniture companies, just looking at new couches and new love seats, just trying to figure out, you know, what's going on in this economy and they're telling me from the factory there is a backlog a three-month backlog on this furniture furniture supplies that you won't be able to get anything until October into the stock into the store now this is not just on your 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 physical hardware stores this is actually on Amazon too because a lot of products on Amazon are being back ordered and delayed fitness personal fitness equipment I noticed such as dumbbells uh, jump ropes, uh, personal fitness. As you know, a lot of people are at home now, so they figure they're trying to get more in shape, uh, and, and they should because of what's coming. Um, the, a lot of the orders are being backlogged for seeds, for guns, um, for, for, for survival skills equipment like mountain food and patriot food. They're being backlogged into October and November because of this economy. The U.S. lost a record number of jobs, 22 million jobs in March and April, the, according to the Labor Department data. And the economy has recovered less than one third of those jobs. And so because of this sickness, most people are working from home, but those who are not working are gonna even have a harder time to find jobs because one in five Americans who said they were looking for work before the sickness have dropped out. They're not even looking for work. They're trying to file for this unemployment benefits. But a lot of people are not receiving it because Washington, D.C. and the politicians have not renewed the $600 extra unemployment benefits as of today, August 1st, August 2nd, 2020. And so because of that, we're going to be in a situation where people are going to be desperate for money, so crime is going to go up. Petty crime is going to go up. Petty crime and theft is going to go up in a lot of our U.S. major cities. We're going to see an increase in homelessness. And even when Washington, D.C. decides to pass the next stimulus package, obviously before the big election, things are going to be very nasty in the manufacturing sector, in the retail sector. And the only stocks that have been going up are the big tech stocks. Uh, Amazon, Facebook, Google, Apple, etc. 
It said Facebook nearly doubles its profits, but it warns that advertising profits may not be the end of the story. So the best that we can do to prepare is to be self-sufficient. And I preach that on this channel because I know you guys understand the value of being self-sufficient. You teach a man not how to catch a fish. You teach a man how to fish, okay? So that means starting to grow your garden, seeing what grows in the area. That means learning survival skills. That means learning to operate uh, security and protection. That means learning new skills, reading up, buying old books from the library and from some of these sales, garage sales on survival skills, bushcraft 101. Also, it means getting educated on outs things outside of your comfort zone. Maybe you're already a businessman. Maybe you're already an expert hunter or a farmer. But maybe you are weak in other areas. And because the job market is changing to an automation, they want robots to replace us. Because robots, they don't have to pay benefits to robots. They don't have to pay retirement pensions to robots. Robots don't get tired. And all they have to do is maintenance every so often and every so many years. So because the businessman is greedy, which is another reason why this economy is going down, because of the greed and the stealing of the stealing and the corruption out of the money supply, uh, we have to be prepared to be self-sufficient because we know that our government is not coming to save us. So since the government is not coming to save us as much as we love our country, we have to be self-sufficient. And so in order to do that, we have to wean ourselves away from the things that we love so much. And that means getting better physical shape, mental shape, spiritual shape, and emotional self shape. God will help us through this, but we have to get prepared. Uh, and there's no need to be fear because we know the news. As this guy's reading the newspaper on our screen here, he's very into sensationalism. There's no need to be sensationalist about it because we knew that this is a planned demolition of our economy. And we know that time is short, but we have time to prepare. Another industry that's not coming back, obviously, is the travel industry. So unless you're doing essential travel for family, friends, and, and essential travel, I would not be taking cruises right now uh, because the sickness is real to a certain extent and people are dying from it. So we don't want to be taking cruises. We don't want to be going on trains or playing that too much unless we have to. And we have to be, of course, masked up, of course, and gloved up. We will be okay. We will make it through this sickness, but this economy is going to take at least another 10 to 11 years to recover because the damage is done through stealing, corruption, debt, greed, and a combination thereof has sunk this economy. But me and you, we're going to be prepared as best we can with food, water, medicine, um, gold, silver, cryptos if you're into that, and also just good common sense. A lot of people walking around today lack common sense. And that's one thing that scares me when this depression comes up and it's gradually coming now, but into next year after the elections are passed and everything, is that a lot of people lack common sense and they're going to do anything to feed their families. So that's what we have to be prepared. We have to be protected. And God will help us if we help prepare ourselves. But if we don't do anything and just expect the government and everybody else to take care of us, then we're going to be in some big, big trouble. So go today. Go to the dollar store. If you have twenty, forty dollars, get ten pounds bag of rice, ten pound bag of flour, ten pound bag of beans, ten pound bag of I mean uh canned tuna, canned beans, because sooner or later you're not gonna be able to find these things in the grocery store at all because of the supply shortage which they can no longer mask and hide from us because this economic depression is coming, it's already here and it's starting and it won't let up this year or next year until it's a complete collapse like Venezuela of the economy and of the civil services. So be blessed, my friends. Continue to prepare, and I'll be back with another update shortly.